Hi guys, I'm Arpit. Today we learn how to integrate Bright Data with Clone Browser for proxies. Clone Browser enables you to create virtual browser profiles to let you have countless computers. It is an anti-detect, anti-fingerprint and multi-account browser. This can be very useful for scraping and social media automation. You must however secure your identity and overcome various types of anti-scraping and other sort of restrictions deployed by your target website. This is where Bright Data comes in. With its various proxy solutions, you can successfully complete your scraping and automation tasks without raising any suspicion. Bright Data proxies integrate with Clone Browser so you can perform your job seamlessly. Let me take you to my computer screen and show you how. Head over to Bright Data. Log in into your account and go to the dashboard. Click on proxies and create a zone. You can choose between data center, residential and mobile IPs. To automate any social platform like LinkedIn, you will need exclusive residential IPs. Configure and create the zone according to your project requirements. Click on the settings icon next to the zone name. From here, you can get the access parameters like username and password. We'll use this information with Clone Browser for integration. For data center zones, you'll see this option download IP list. You can copy the IPs from here and use them later with Clone Browser. Let me show you how. Head over to clonebrowser.com. Click on the download register button. Sign up or login into your Clone Browser account. From the left menu, click on download and then download the appropriate version as per your OS. I'll download it for Mac. Install and then open the browser. Login into your clone browser account. From the top menu, click on proxy and then click on new proxy. Under proxy, select HTTP. Under Remark, let's name it as Bright Data Proxies. IP or host will be zproxy.lum-superproxy.io if you want to use the super proxy. However, in case you want to use Bright Data Proxy Manager, then the address will be 127.0.0.1. Port will be 2225. Username and password can be taken from your Bright Data Zone settings. Copy and paste the username and the password. Let's test the connection. It says successful. So let's save it. We can also see clone browser being registered in the event log reports in the bright data dashboard. Now let's create a new browser profile with this proxy. Go back to the home page from the top right. Click on new browser profile. Then from the left menu, click on proxy and then angel list. Use the bright data proxy we just created. Save it and then click on create profile. Now you can start using this profile with bright data proxies. That's how easy it is to integrate bright data proxies with Clon browser. That'll be all for this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future content. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.